Thank you very much, uh, Prime Minister. On behalf of my delegation and I, I want to, in a very special way, thank you, the government and the people of Japan, for the warm welcome accorded to me and my delegation, and the wonderful hospitality that we have enjoyed since arriving in this great city of Tokyo. On behalf of the people and government of Kenya, I again bring you a message of condolence for the, to the government and the people of Japan for the loss of your dear citizens and the destruction of property occasioned by the earthquake which struck NATO Peninsula at the beginning of this year. My visit, Mr. Prime Minister, just comes as our two countries celebrate 60 years of solid, firm Kenya-Japan diplomatic relations and is a demonstration that Japan remains an important partner for Kenya. I also confirm that Kenya is committed to enhance enhancement of our friendly relations, including through regular visits. Over the course of six decades, Kenya-Japan relations have deepened and expanded. And as noted, during our discussions with the Prime Minister, our economies complement one another with each country's exports requiring the other. The key sectors of our cooperation include road and transport, health, energy, ICT, education, agriculture, among others. During our discussions, I shared with Prime Minister Fumio Kishida the salient elements of Kenya's development strategic priorities and plan for execution. They include agriculture and food, security, climate change, and environmental conservation, health and research, ICT infrastructure development, education, and capacity building, as well as in the security sector. On infrastructure, I am very happy that we have now concluded discussions on the, de uh, on the development of Mombasa and the coastal region, including the Mombasa Gateway Bridge, Dongo Kundu Special Economic Zone, and associated infrastructure in the coast region. And we have agreed on an accelerated time-bound execution plan as the, some of these projects had been delayed. On agriculture, we acknowledged Japan's support for the completion of phase two of Mwea irrigation scheme and the completion of the national rice master plan to cover the entire country as a mechanism of achieving food security in our country and also throughout our continent with Africa's food security in mind. And I have thanked Prime Minister for all the initiatives he is undertaking on matters food security in our continent. Further, the Prime Minister and I discussed the modalities of financing national development, including through frameworks like government to government and public-private partnerships. As a consequence, a PPP framework was signed between our two governments, and we therefore agreed to take deliberate steps to facilitate the private sector to play a significant leading role in the Kenya-Japan economic cooperation programs and projects. In keeping with the commitment to support implementation of some areas of interest, today Kenya and Japan signed a memorandum of understanding on cooperation in the ICT sector and on the enhancement of capacity of the Kenya Medical Research Institute, KEMRI, to build on its pandemic management potential. Additionally, we witnessed the signing of a memorandum of understanding to issue a samurai bond and also a letter of intent with respect to defense cooperation to strengthen our partnership in the field of defense and enable us to work together in promoting peace and stability in Africa and in all maritime trade routes, as was explained by my good brother, the Prime Minister. As you know, we have challenges in our region, in Sudan, in Somalia, and associated areas. We also have the war in Europe, what is going on uh, elsewhere, and the defense cooperation signed between our two governments will go a long way in enabling Kenya to work with Japan in securing our roots, in securing our countries, and in peace and stability in our region and globally. 
at the multilateral level, Kenya will remain a strong supporter of Japan-EU partnership in general and in respect to TIGAT in particular, ensuring that our participation and our programs as has been the case uh, between Africa and Japan. Similarly, we count on Japan's increased support for our nation's uh, development in keeping with the demands of our radical positive change. Japan and Kenya noted the importance of a rules-based, transparent, and fair development financing, and the importance of compliance with the international financial rules and standards by all creditor countries. Japan has a strong voice which can support and amplify the effective, effectively disenfranchised voices of developing countries in regard to their peculiar development needs in terms of access to affordable financing for sustainable development. Financial, uh, as a result, the reform of the financial international development finance architecture is a necessity. And additionally, I brought to the attention of the Prime Minister my forthcoming activity as the International Development Agency's replacement champion, and especially the summit I am scheduled to host in Nairobi in April 2024. Through the Prime Minister, I requested Japan's support for this important replenishment that will greatly support countries in the global south, especially in Africa. In our discussion, we noted the need for international community to uphold the very foundations of the international order, such as respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all nations, and to ensure global peace and uh, stability. We also covered the urgent and important campaign for the reform of the international financial architecture, and as uh, the Prime Minister has said, we will be continuing discussions on reform of the UN and other agencies later. Let me also confirm here that I will be having a conversation with the Prime Minister on um, the Nairobi Office of the United Nations, and to appreciate that Japan already supported the Secretary, the United Nations Secretary General's proposal for uh, enhancement of the office in Nairobi. Um, we will be uh, having further conversations on the rest of the programs that are uh, in the pipeline. And again, Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of uh, my delegation and I, I want to appreciate your cordial invitation and the hospitality that has been extended to us. Thank you very much.